so hi guys i am kayum and in this video we will going to learn about a new topic which is how to use for loop to get output from the select query so here uh, we first need to set the server output on then we will start with the begin statement then inside this begin block we will mention our for x variable in here in this round bracket we will uh, type our select query so we will uh, select a table name from the dba tables okay dba tables uh, then uh, close the round bracket then again loop we will start with the loop then uh, dba for getting the output we will type dbms underscore output then the put line here inside we will uh, mention whatever uh, string we want so we will mention table name table name is then here after this concatenation this uh, this symbol this uh, this symbol this lines will show as concatenation so this table name is will be concatenated with uh, the next uh, um, the next expression okay so here uh, we will mention x from this for loop okay this x then the dot okay the this x and then followed by the dot then this uh, column name okay table name okay so x dot this table name and then we can uh, complete this with the semicolon okay so this is how uh, we can get the output using the for loop by mentioning this then now in the next line we will going to end the loop then again end this and then slash so here you can see on the screen that we are getting the output in this form so our output is coming in this form like a table name is <coughs> so this is our the table names okay so this is how we can get the output from the for loop okay so so in this way we can use the for loop for getting the output from the selector query okay so you can see we are getting the tables names from the dba tables views so you can also increase the uh, table name uh, uh, you can also increase the columns in the selector query and get the same output by using this okay so here i am having table name so that's why i am uh, uh, typing x dot table name if you are having uh, more uh, more tables like uh, owner name also then you can also mention x dot owner name so in this way we can get in this way we can get the same result okay so let me again query and at this time uh, we will use select a uh, roll number then a uh, student name from student table okay so we have uh, we already having a table which is student and we want to query these two tables from this student uh, these two columns from the student table then we will start the loop then again dbms output then put line in this our table details are then code can it in it then x dot roll number then again for space i am mentioning this upward quotation okay then x dot the next column is student then name okay so in this way we can query then the end loop then again end then this <coughs> so you can see here 
by the simple query we are getting our student table details in this format so this is our uh, output format and here we are getting the output okay in this format so here you can see that so in this way we can use for loop for getting the output from the selector query okay so thanks for watching this video hope it will be helpful for you